you've got children or grandchildren or nieces and nephews in the Madison or Wisconsin public schools, then spring break has come early. And we don't know how long it's gonna last and the kids might be kind of bored. So we thought we would talk a little bit today about doing some seed starting inside. Really good science project for kids at home. And so we're gonna concentrate on things that are really easy to grow and that will sprout pretty quickly and do well inside so that nobody is gonna be disappointed. You can always do herbs like chive or basil. Salad bowls are super fun to do because then you can harvest. Microgreens also super fun. And these are all things that are gonna sprout within a week. So not quite instant gratification, but close. But what I thought we would do today is show you how to do this and we're gonna plant some cat grass. I have cats. My cats love cat grass and it's really fun. So you need a couple of things. You need some kind of pot. It should have drainage. This is just a terracotta pot. If you've got plastic or something that you have left over from last summer, that would be great. Just make sure it's got a drainage hole. Then you're gonna need some medium, some, uh, this is seedling mix. This is gonna be the easiest. It's gonna be the best for the plants. But since we're not really starting seedlings, if you've got potting soil at home, that will work just fine and that's what I'm gonna use. So I have a big giant bucket of potting soil here. So here we're just gonna fill the pot up, just like this. This is nice and loose. Uh, potting soil is not actually soil. Potting soil is organic matter like ground up mulch and sometimes peat moss and then uh, vermiculite and perlite, which are these little bits in here. And what this does is it just keeps it really well aerated and it has good drainage. So this is cat grass and cat grass is really fun and cats love it. So, and the seed is pretty good size. So even if your kids are really small, they can work with this. And so you're just gonna sprinkle it over the top of the soil, just like this in kind of a pattern, just like you're putting in a little lawn, which you're kind of doing for your cats. You see a lot of this and like Pinterest pages and they have like Easter eggs and kind of and chicks and that kind of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Then kind of just pat it down a little bit. And then for cat grass, you're gonna wanna put like a half an inch of soil over the top. General rule of thumb is the bigger the seed, the more you can cover it. And with, when uh, the seeds are underneath and as big as the cat grass are, then it's really easy to water. So, then what you'll wanna do is get, put this in the sink, give it a good soak, it's really handy if you have one of those squirter things on your sink, the rinsing kind of hose things. And then you're gonna wanna keep this evenly moist. And in probably about three or four days, you sit, should see something coming up. So here we are, it's three days later. You can tell because I've changed my clothes. <laughs> and this is the cat grass that we planted just a few days ago. And here it is up and like super perky. Now your kitties and dogs would like to chew on it, which is perfectly safe for them. Or you can cut it like a lawn and use it to decorate a table for Easter or like a little spring kind of fairy garden thing that you wanna set up. This is a great project to do for kids. And I think that given that our kiddos are probably super bored, planting things in general is great. So we do at the store have some really great kits. And this is comes with a tray, a dome, and these are Jiffy Pots. And what they are is a little bit of compressed peat moss. And when you soak them in water, they blow up. And then there's a little depression in there that you can put a seed. So stop in and ask us. We'd be happy to help you find some sort of easy to grow, um, super quick plants, flowers, veg, whatever your kids are interested in. So pop into the garden center and pick up a kit, depending on how many kiddos you have and how many things they wanna plant. We will help you choose some plants that are fast growing and things that will not make your kids frustrated because they're gonna take forever, they'd be easy to grow things, flowers, veg. I have a feeling that when kids grow their own vegetables, you might get them to eat some things that they would ordinarily turn up their noses at. So bring the family in and we will help you out and get your kids started on some fun science projects. Happy spring from all of us here at The Bruce Company.